What's up everyone? Alex here. Music games have been in a transformative state as of late. Once relegated to describing a game focused on pressing buttons to the beat of a song, many developers have found that the genre can be used to describe gameplay whose experience is intrinsically tied to and significantly enhanced by its music. Much like games such as Res before it, Sayonara Wild Hearts aims to help refine this latter definition, allowing players more freedom to enjoy its musical landscapes and be further immersed in its worlds. So let's rev up our celestial motorcycles and set forth a course across the universe in Sayonara Wild Hearts, hours later. Sayonara Wild Hearts is a rhythm action game developed by Swedish developer Samogo and published by Annapurna Interactive. The balance of the universe is disturbed, and it's up to a chosen woman, taking up the mantle of a mysterious hero known as the Fool, to set all the wrong things right in the universe as she travels down a celestial highway across its entire expanse. Many players use games such as Res and Rhythm Heaven to describe Sayonara Wild Hearts, and to that, I say that both games paint too specific of a portrait of how the game is played, which isn't all too accurate. Instead, think of Sayonara Wild Hearts as a surrealistic, narrative-driven, level-based music action game that represents multiple genres within. Just playing the first several minutes of the game, you'll be jumping onto motorcycles, engaging in fisticuffs, and flying through areas while engrossing yourself in the game's wonderful soundtrack. Sayonara Wild Hearts isn't too concerned about creating an overly challenging experience for players. Points matter at the end of the level, awarding the best players with bronze, silver, and gold awards. And if you manage to finish all the levels in the game with a gold award, you can unlock a brand new game mode to play in. Just merely finishing the game will also unlock an arcade mode, which automatically queues up the next level without ever returning you back to the level select screen, allowing for a more seamless journey through Sayonara Wild Hearts universe. What makes Sayonara Wild Hearts unique from other games in the genre is that it's more concerned with giving players freedom to engage with its many challenges rather than asking them to tap a button in time with a beat. This is why I use the word action in conjunction with placing the game in the music genre, as there aren't a lot of music games out there that really allow for a kind of gameplay that feels less like Simon Says and more on par with dance or fight choreography. Within each level, genres can transition multiple times, challenging the player to adapt quickly and to do their best to beat the level's highest scores. It's in this sense that Sayonara Wild Hearts music comes into play almost in reverse of what a music game requires. While certain sections will feel like regular racing or action sections, looming in the background is a clear solution on how to traverse said sections. The game's music, with each beat hinting at the correct timing, provides you with a subliminal solution to the current challenge at hand. This is where Sayonara Wild Hearts' brilliance becomes readily apparent. And not long after you realize this, you'll be listening to the music more to help with traversing through each challenge, further immersing you in your character's journey. The developers over at Samogo call Sayonara Wild Hearts a pop album video game, and frankly, I can't think of a better way to describe it. Much like how full music albums cost, Sayonara Wild Hearts costs $12.99 on most of the platforms that it's on. The game's length is also similar to that of a full album, just a little under an hour based on the timestamp on the gameplay footage I recorded. And much like great pop albums of its ilk, Sayonara Wild Hearts soundtrack is out of this world, representing multiple genres much like its gameplay, with songs that you'll remember and be fond of well beyond finishing the game. It's the kind of game that, due to its relatively short length, that you'll want to pop in from time to time, perhaps to get a quick adrenaline kick, or just to have another excuse to enjoy the game's music. Either way you slice it, its price point is great for both fans of the music genre and newcomers who want to try something new without feeling like they're overly committing to a game, both from a financial and a time standpoint. Rounding out the game's incredible sights and sounds is narration done by none other than Queen Latifah herself, and her presence gives the game a kind of credibility that not only elevates the whole game, but also helps quickly establish the game's mood and feeling early on. Sayonara Wild Hearts comes out at a time when everything is ever so divisive, and I feel that with its price point, that it's automatically a must-play for players of all kinds. It also helps that it's available on so many platforms that there really is no excuse not to experience it. 
Sure, some will gripe at how the experience might be short, or that perhaps the gameplay needs a little bit more depth. But the game never gives you the impression that it is trying to be any more than what it is. It's frank and honest in its execution, taking you on a journey that's well worth embarking on, and one that could potentially change our views of the world as well. Maybe that's just a selfish hope of mine, and uh, sorry if this all sounds too hoity-toity, but I think this game coming out is one of the things the world needs right now. And maybe, just maybe, we'll all become better human beings by the end of our own journey through Sayonara Wild Hearts Universe.